Okay. Uh, we already download our potatoes. We installed it. And then by clicking on help, we see that it is already registered. Then I'm going to choose the first exercise using hot potatoes. It's a fill in the blanks exercise. So we we'll click on it. Then here we are. Let me tell you this. I'm going to write the name of the exercise and minimize it. Before you start, you should have a folder with whatever you need for your exercise. Could be images, could be audio, could be text or a video uh, clip. So if you see, I have already a folder. Yes, okay. So we save it. And this is important. You must save your hot potato exercises with lowercase letters. No spaces between the letters and no special characters. You may use letters, numbers, dash, or hyphen, and underscore. Okay, let's save it. And then here I'm going to insert an image. So we go to insert picture picture from local file and then this is the one I want to use and this is important it's also important this is a kind of big image so let's change the height in 300 pixels do not change the width if it already changes automatically okay and then we go and type Okay, it's already typed, and I'm going to choose the words that are going to be converted into caps. You select the word, exactly the word, no extra spaces after, no extra spaces before, then like this, and click on gap, and then OK, leave it like that. The next one is going to be chest. I select it. And then we save it. Then I'm going to convert this file into an HTML file and it should have the same name parts dash of dash the but dash body. Let's see this. The same. Do not change it. It's gonna help you a lot. Then we save it and then we ask to view it in our browser. The exercise is going to be open automatically in the browser you have uh, by default. I recommend using Mozilla Firefox. I'm using Google Chrome, but for some exercises with audio and video, Mozilla Firefox is the best one. So let's view it. See, this is the picture. This, these are the gaps. And look at this index. I'm going to click on index. Uh uh. There is nothing. I'm going to click on next. There is nothing. Oops. Okay. 
and we have too much information in the in in the instructions so let's go and make some changes number one we go to options of your output and then erase this and we don't need that much information in the instructions then the next tab leave it like that give me a second music on the background background and then the next buttons this is no hint no button for blues no next no index appearance leave it like that later on you can change on that but I recommend you change this the font should be large why because sometimes students see the exercise or do the exercises using mini laptops and the resolution of the screen is completely different so you can set a time but I don't recommend it first uh, let's have the students get used to this kind of exercises and later on you can use them with a time limit and then the other ones well these are the ones recommended this and this but she's only one you may choose the two of them but uh, let's see the first one I'm gonna choose this drop down list and then click OK every change you make save the hot potatoes exercise and as well as the HTML replace it and let's see it this is the one with the drop list yes the students choose number one here number two uh, chest etc etc yes and look at this this is different okay uh, number three is shoulder no oops there is a mistake here let's fix it number four is here number five another mistake is hand and number six is foot and then we click on check 100% let's correct the mistakes number 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 save it and let's change the other option I'm going to choose this instead of this again save it save it replace it and view it here are the key the clues help for our students you see no more drop down list this difference from this one okay so as you see they may type or they may uh, okay sixteen number two is chest you know it is correct however if I check it it's gonna charge me instead of giving me a 32 yes it's gonna charge me because I'm typing the idea is to have students type the answers and then when they finish uh, click on check okay this is the way uh, hot potatoes exercise is done now we close it and if you want to send it to me or to your students you should go into this folder yes this is the HTML that they need you can send them you can erase delete all of this information that do not need only leave this and this so to do that I usually recommend this I'm gonna copy this folder and I'm gonna paste it we have two folders see if I need 
taking too long. If I need to use uh, more material from here, it's going to be here. So I leave it like that. But this is the one that I'm going to send my students. I open it, and as I told you, I delete the material my students do not need. They just need this and this. So the hot potatoes for you. It is in this folder. Okay. Almost on. Then you right click on this folder and then you go into this part. You're going to compress the file. And this is the file you're going to send me or your students. Yes. Okay, guys. I hope you have no problems. In